everyone. It is Saturday, February 10th, and I just ended a vlog, and now I'm starting another one, and I'm here at my bookshelf trying to decide what book I'm going to read next, and I'm about to get a big-ass stack of books and bring it over to my bed and decide. So, oh god. <laughs> okay, so this one I need. Here, I'm going to show you all of this, but I thought this would kind of be fun to to do. Oh gosh, I need this one too. Yeah. And then, okay. So then I need this one and I need this one and I need this one. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I've decided on here. Let me turn the camera hey, around. So this is the unwanted shelf except from this on. Okay. But yeah, I'm deeming it this because We've got the Hunger Games series over there, and I literally really need to, you know what, I'll just go ahead and get Catching Fire out of here, except I don't want to read that, and I already know I'm not going to, so I don't know why I'm doing it. Then there's this dreadful series, Breaking Dawn, the Twilight series. I have no desire to pick up Breaking Dawn, and it's just staring at me, and it's so big. Like, look at that fucking book. That's not okay, and I'm so sorry if you love the Twilight series, but... I already know what happens in the fourth book because I've seen the movie and it honestly is so disgusting and nasty that reading about it makes me like even more not want to read it. So yeah. And then I've got the Vampire Academy and this series is okay. I was okay with the first one. I think I rated it higher than what I should have because honestly it's kind of forgettable and I don't really want to read the rest of these and I like ordered all of them when I was reading the first one and I kind of hate myself for it so because it's just taking up space but I also really want to read this series because I didn't hate it at all and I even like liked it a lot so I should probably yeah yeah I'll go ahead and get that one too should I get Breaking Dawn no I'm not going to I'm not going to and then on the shelf I have things that I need to read on this one too and oh yeah, I need to get this. And I need to get this. And I need to get this. Except I'm going to wait to read this until the end of the month because I'm a procrastinator and I really, really am just not in the mood to cry today. And over here, I need to get this. And I need to get this. And down here, I think that's it. Divergent. And there's the Cheez-Its and the fruit roll-ups and the goldfish because my mom thought it would be a good idea to put food in here, which is taking up space. Okay. And then I picked up Zenith, Shadow and Bone, and then Gathering of Shadows, which I am way too excited about. Crone of, crone, Crown of Midnight. That was embarrassing, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, what the hell? Why does this keep happening to me from Barnes and Noble? This is torn. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I hate it when this happens. Oh, I'm pissed. The Dream Thieves. Second book in the Raven Boy cycle. And then The Diviners by Liba Bray. So, and I've got Cinder over there. And Court of Wings and Ruin. And something else. Oh, Clockwork Prince. I've got that there too. So, those are my stack of books. I'm going to decide between them. Make a mess in my room, of course. So, yeah. Let's do this. Holy shit. I should probably stop. Okay. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. It happened. They fell. Okay. Hello, y'all. It is... Is it Sunday? It's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the next day. And... My mama got me a Valentine's Day gift, and this is what she got and me. We, we did it early this year. Yeah. We're going to do the readathon. <laughs> my <dad> her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> got her Shakespeare, 12 Shakespeare bookmarks. Yes, she did, because I <laughs> actually like Shakespeare. <laughs> Jack. I'm going to let that look like. Here. Wait. They look like this. They're like animated and then they have quotes from all of his works on the back. So yeah. And then I got I read past my bedtime. Uh, I broke this one. 
Sorry. <laughs> Eat, sleep, read. Yay! And they're in the colors of Alabama, so yay. <laughs> Roll Todd. Okay, so she wanted me to vlog about that. So weird. we did. You're not weird. Did they get her a bookmark holder? I don't know if they make bookmark holders. I'm I sure don't they know. do. Probably. They make everything else. And I am going to read today, but we have been watching movies. We watched Wonder, which was a really good movie. And I'm hoping we're done watching movies. I think we're getting ready to watch another one. Damn it. I want to read. Can I read? Family time. <sighs> sorry. Mm -hmm. You want <laughs> sorry. Can I please read though? I'll see what daddy has in mind to watch. It might be good. Why are you looking at me like that for Jack? <laughs> Jack says, I'm high because I had to get a doggy medication because to I'm sick. <laughs> no, because he's sick. He also had a bath. Yes. Double you smell like wet dog. Ew. Okay. That be it. I will see y'all later. Hey y'all, so it is later in the evening and I am about ready to start The Diviners by Lee Babray. Um, this is a book that my mom really wants me to read because she's already read this and she wants me to read it so we can talk about it because I guess something irritated her in it and she wants to know if I feel the same way about it. So yeah, I'm going to read this tonight and also I've had some people in the comments tell me that they really want me to read this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already started it. I'm on page 19. So yeah, I'm not super far in it, but I'm going to sit and just get started. And yeah, I will let y'all know what I, so far it's, it's okay. I will say the main character, Evie, is kind of annoying so far. She's like really into herself, but she also seems like kind of cool too. So I don't know. I just have to get to know her a little bit more. Um, but yeah, but I'm excited because it's set in 1926 in New York City, so that'll be fun. But I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I will talk to y'all later. Hey so <laughs> it is like 9 o'clock, and I am sitting here reading The Diviners, and so far I really, really like it. I'm on page 87, and it's like pretty good so far, actually. And uh, people have said that it's like got a slow start, but I don't think it does. And I'm okay with a slow-paced book as long as it's keeping me entertained. If it's slow paced and it's like really boring then I get bothered by it but all of the writing is so like intricate and detailed and beautiful that I'm not bored at all when I'm reading this because she does a really good job, Leva Bray, at um, describing the 20s and the s scenery and how they were like dressed and everything and one of my favorite things to read is um, when they're talking about Harlem because Harlem we studied it in one of my college classes my first semester and it was so interesting to me when we studied about it I absolutely loved it and just the history behind Harlem and all of it so I love reading about that and I really really like um, Memphis he's interesting to me and I just like him I'm still kind of like not sure about Evie, 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 I don't know. Um, she's kind of like annoying to me because she's like really, really into herself <laughs> and it's like fine, but there's like confident and then there's like just like this arrogance that always annoys me and she kind of has that arrogance about her, but um, I also don't like her friend, uh, I can't think of her name, I can't think of her name. She's an actress there or a person on Broadway, I can't remember. Betta? Betta, yeah. Is that her name? I think so, yeah. T-H something. Um, yeah, she's kind of annoying too. But um, honestly, so far, the only characters that I've really, really loved is Memphis. Um, and then I liked Memphis's friend that he was talking to at the bar. Or not at the bar. I don't know if it's a bar. Um, or a club or something. Um, was her name Amarin? Mama's read this book, but I liked her. She was spunky. Um, and then I also like, uh, crap, I suck at names. Jericho, Jericho, I like him. He seems sweet. He hasn't said much, but he's kind of shy and backward and I don't know. He just seems sweet to me. But those are the characters that I'm liking so far. And I do like Evie, like she's funny and she makes me laugh. I just like, 
think that she has a very abrasive personality at first and I'm just having to get used to her because I don't hate her or anything. It's not like that. She just says something sometimes and I'm just like, oh, that's really annoying. Or like just how she acts at times and I'm just like, stop. Like she's trying to get her friend Mabel to cut her hair off and she's like, if you don't cut your hair off, then you're not a modern girl and you don't do, and I'm just like, dang, the girl just wants some long hair. There's nothing wrong with that. Like she doesn't judge you for cutting your hair off. Just let her have her long hair. Probably because I have really long hair. And I would be mad if somebody told me that because I didn't have a bob that I wasn't a modern woman. Like, that's putting women in a box and telling them that if you don't act a certain way, then you're not this whatever. So, I don't know. I just would get annoyed with her in that part when she was like, you need to cut your hair off if you want to impress Jericho. And I'm just like, well, if he doesn't like her for who she is, then back off. So, yeah. But I'm probably just being annoying. But that part just really irked me for some reasons. Probably being stupid. But yeah. But it's also really creepy, this book. Like, I've gotten the heebie-jeebie several times. And my mom is like, that book isn't that scary and creepy. <sighs> okay. I guess getting your eyes gouged out by some mystery man is not considered creepy. She's not even listening to me. I don't even know. She's not even listening. She's in her own little world. But yeah. So I'll update you guys as I continue on in this book. But so far, like I said, I really, really like it. And I'm absolutely intrigued. And I'm going to continue it tonight. And I'll just read until I cannot read any longer. I probably won't finish it tonight because it's a pretty long book. It's 468 pages. I would like to get to the halfway point at least. So that way I only have half to read tomorrow. But these this past week I kind of took a break from my normal reading I really did not read much last week because I didn't feel good at all, but I want to get back to reading like I was because I was doing really, really good. And I have so many books that I want to read, like all those stacks of books over there are books that I need to read. And I just have so much that I need to get read and yeah, little time. So I'm going to leave and I will update y'all later. So it is 1230 in the morning and I have just finished The Divaners. I really, really enjoyed this, and I liked it a lot. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, the only reason I didn't give it a 5 out of 5 stars is because I felt it was a little too long and that it was, like, slow-paced at times, which, I mean, I didn't mind it too much, but there was just some times where I was like, okay, let's get there a little quicker. And there was just, like, I don't know. I loved it. Like, I loved it. It's just, like, the pacing. I just didn't love it at times. So, I just gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. But I really, really, really liked it. And I'm excited to read Layer of Dreams. Um, I have, like, weird feelings about all of the characters. They're definitely all, like, have their own faults and everything. Like, Evie. I like Evie, but she pisses me off so so much she drives me crazy but I really really like her and I sympathize with her situation her mother is awful like I don't like her mother um Mabel I don't like Mabel at all um I love Theta I wish Theta was um Evie I wish they would like switch places because I love her I absolutely love Memphis I think he's great I love him um who else is there oh Jericho love 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 Jericho um, I am right now for Evie and Jericho, even though Evie really bothers me and I think Jericho could, like, do better, but, um, I still like Jericho. Sam, I really, really like Sam as well, but, um, I feel like Evie and Sam, maybe they would be a good match. I don't know, but I feel like Evie needs somebody like Jericho who's a little bit more, like, level-headed and calmer and thinks things through, because Evie just kind of just doesn't think about things she just does without caring about the consequences at all so I think she needs somebody like Jericho to balance her out um Sam is more like I don't know I can just see them being really good friends and I'm trying to think of any other characters I can't think of anything else but it this book like was so interesting I the writing style was absolutely fantastic and it was just, it was excellent. And I'm dying to know what happens in the second book. It definitely left off on a big cliffhanger. So I'm ready for the second book. But, um, yeah. I will say 
the things that they like had to say about certain parts of religion did make me a little bit uncomfortable. I do believe in God and everything. And just some of the things that were like said, I would be like just a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah, I mean, I wasn't angry ever or mad because it's just a book. It's fictional, you know, but just like I would just get feel uncomfortable sometimes they were talking about religion because it just made me a little bit uncomfortable at times. But Overall, like I said, it was a really, really good book, and I highly recommend people read this. It's excellent. Excellent. So, yeah. But, oh, also, the diversity was amazing. Um, Memphis is black, and his little brother Isaiah is in it. Um, and then Henry, I love Henry, he is gay. And then, what else? I feel like there's more diversity, and I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there was another... Something that was also diverse. But I forget. I forget. There's something else and I forget. But the diversity was amazing. Um, yeah, oh, trigger warning for, like, abuse. There is abuse in this. Um, and trigger warning for rape as well. There was a rape scene in this. So, but... I think that's all I have to say about the review that I, the little mini review that I just gave. But yeah, so that is it for today's vlog and I will see y'all tomorrow.